Well, the reason John has a day off today is that Chelsea's intended opponents, Charlton, are at Wembley Stadium tomorrow for the full Members' Cup final, won by Chelsea last season. Charlton's opponents, a famous old club, uh, below halfway in Division 2, but given a real lift by this Wembley appearance. The 1960 FA Cup final wasn't a Wembley classic. And for Blackburn, it was a thoroughly miserable afternoon. But for one Rovers player, the young left-back Dave Whelan, the match was a disaster. Minutes before half-time, with Blackburn one down through an own goal, he broke his leg. The ball came across field, and I went to intercept the ball and collided with Norman Dealey. And as I was going through the air, I saw my leg just fall away, the bottom half of my leg. So I grabbed my leg and fell onto the floor, and the pain was intense. I was thinking, we'll never win now with ten men. Um, we had no substitutes then, as you know, and um, it went through my mind. I'd set my heart on winning a uh, winner's medal, and when I got into the dressing room, um, I was just crying because I knew, and the lads knew, we were not going to win the cup then. A bad one only to Clayton, out come the wall defence, but Clayton decided to go through on his own, brought down from behind by Horn. Not even the skill of Blackburn's well, England captain, Ronnie Clayton, could rescue Rovers, who lost 3-0. The defeat led to bitter recriminations at the club, with allegations of poor preparation and indiscipline. And now the gallant losers. Blackburn Rovers, led by Ronnie Clayton. And the whole stadium rises to this gallant side. And I think the Duchess is giving Ronnie Clayton two medals, one for the unfortunate Dave Whelan, who was carried off after 42 minutes with a broken leg. I think one of the, the things I do remember about it is uh, the injury to Dave Whelan. I think that's what stands m most in my mind in the 1960 final. We're down to uh, virtually nine men because Dugan got injured in the first couple of minutes. And of course, from then on, we had a chance because there were no substitutes in those days. But the team, with a weight of tradition on their shoulders, has spent much of the season fighting to pull clear of the relegation zone of the second division. As the veterans of 1960 looked on, the Rovers of 87 were fighting for vital league points on Tuesday night against struggling Bradford City. The man urging them on, Scotsman Don Mackay, who's reached Wembley only two months after moving into the managerial hot seat. But is the full Members' Cup to be taken seriously? People said it's going to be a, a Mickey Mouse Cup final. Well, I'll tell you, you ask the people of Blackburn, there's posters all over the place, well done Rovers, all the best Rovers, it's fantastic to see it. And I think it's great in the North West that there's other clubs being talked about except for Liverpool and Everton. The club have sold over 20,000 tickets for the final. That's four times their average home attendance. The armchair fans are deserting their living rooms. Proof that soccer can still catch the imagination, especially for the big occasion. Uh, I think it's brought a, a lot of interest back to Blackburn Rovers. There's supporters coming back that haven't been down for three, four years. It's 27 years since Blackburn Rovers were at Wembley. Uh, I was 14 at the time, and I couldn't get a ticket then. Uh, I've not as uh, much of a problem this time. It's just as good as any other competition. The first division teams on the way to get there, didn't they? And every game was a good one. The finals half as good as the other games have been waiting for a treat. Our reporter there, Colin Philpot. Nice to see two teams like Charlton and Blackburn Rovers at Wembley, John, isn't it? Uh, really? Well, it's funny, really. We should have played Charlton today. And the team that put it out were Blackburn. Thanks very much, Bob. <laughs> That's not the reason we got you here. You must realise that. Um, some people would question this competition, the full members' cup. But I mean, what value does it have? Obviously, t tremendous for the fans. Well, crowd-wise, I don't think you get um, generate many people, uh, many people coming to watch these games. But it, it'll take a bit of time. Uh, our final was a tremendous one. We got 68, 70,000 there, and I think. What people don't realise is what generated for the other clubs, all the clubs that participated, all got a little lump sum out of so that. So the likes of through. Halifax so or... Or whoever took uh, part in the competition, they actually got money for 
taking part. So, OK, we're generating it in some other way, but uh, I don't think that's always highlighted. Well, it's always and the for the fans always going to Wembley for the day out, it's great, isn't it? Uh, well, I've, I certainly enjoyed it, and I know our supporters enjoyed it, and it's, it's another chance to get to Wembley. Yeah. Well, Old Glory is remembered by Blackburn and Charlton fans this weekend, and uh, continued triumphs, the aim of Swindon Town. Amy?